Hello and welcome to the special edition of the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski, and this is one of three on our Milwaukee Brewers season preview. And uh, those uh, that are my day ones out there, uh, you're watching uh, right now on the screen, those of you who remember, Milwaukee Brewers look just like this uh, not that long ago. So let's just keep that fresh in our minds. And it wasn't that long ago that these Brewers looked just like uh, what you're seeing on the screen now. Of course, that's all changed. Four years running, Milwaukee Brewers have been in the postseason. Four straight years. And uh, they will be in the postseason this year. I mean, uh, barring some major meltdown of things that can't be predicted and thought about, uh, Milwaukee Brewers are going to make it five straight. Uh, they'll win the Nas uh, National League Central this year. They'll be conference champs again or division champs again this year. Uh, that'll happen. All that comes up, though, in episode number three. For now, episode number one, we'll be talking about the Milwaukee Brewers offense, uh, bats. And those of you that are watching this, uh, the Brewers are playing the Cubs right now in the season opener. Uh, Milwaukee and Chicago, uh, first pitch was at 120. And it was the first uh, Major League Baseball game of 2022. Of course, we're delayed by a couple of weeks. That means the Masters Golf Tournament also started today. I don't think that's ever happened before. We had opening day and the start of the Masters on the same day. Sports fans unite uh, and get uh, get a couple of the devices and watch those. So uh, those of you watching this uh, during the Brewers, uh, this will be a short episode. Uh, those of you watching after the game, uh, uh, welcome and congratulations. Uh, hope the Brewers won today. Uh, all right. Well, let's start with uh, let's start with a bit of a recap on last year, offensively speaking. And I think that's a good place to start when we're going to preview this year's edition of the Milwaukee Brewers from the plate. And uh, we, we think back on last year, and of course, Brewers 95 and 67. They were uh, champs, division champs last year, uh, NL Central. Um, some, some new faces this year. And so we'll start, though, with, uh, with a recap on last year, offensively speaking anyway. Uh, the Brewers ranked 11th offensively in the National League. That's bottom third, not good. Uh, we take a look at, again, they were 95 and 67, so they, they did a lot of things right. They got a lot of wins. Surprising was the pitching, and we're going to talk about pitching tomorrow in episode number two. And that is what really kept the Brewers alive and guided them to an NL Central Division Championship. Um, but they were 95 and 67, final month of the year, final month of the regular season anyway. They were below 500. They were an under 500 team to finish the season. Uh, they finished the se season, regular season, being swept by the Dodgers, and uh, that led into the postseason. Now, those of you that may remember, uh, the Brewers scored two runs in the <laughs> in game number one. They beat the Braves two to one, and then uh, the Braves ran off three straight on their way to a uh, to a championship last year, as it turns out. Uh, but the Braves shut out the Brewers three nothing in game number two. They shut them out three nothing in game in game number three. Uh, Brewers did score some runs in the fourth game, uh, fighting for their uh, season lives, so their postseason lives, and they fell 5-4. So uh, Brewers offensively, uh, they were challenged all year. They were not what they were supposed to be offensively in 2021, uh, and that is uh, namely one, or the top name in that disappointment list was the 2019 MVP Christian Yelich. So let's go through some of the stats. Baseball is great for stats, right? We can talk about stats all day long. Uh, Christian Yelich uh, last year batted 248. He had 51 RBIs. Uh, that was only fourth. He was uh, fourth in RBIs on his own team, uh, batting 248, nine home runs. Christian Yelich had 44 home runs in 2019. Again, we don't count the rec league in 2021. Uh, in, in 2020, uh, that, that's long behind. But in 21, uh, nine home runs compared to the last regular regular season where he had 44 home runs. So Christian Yelich was a disappointment. Last year, uh, he said it, uh, and everybody else agreed, uh, injured uh, probably more than what we know about during the season, uh, but a, a big disappointment and a big missing piece of that Milwaukee Brewers lineup uh, throughout really the entire season. Um, uh, Avisail Garcia, uh, he, he uh, second on the team in hits with 121, led the team in home runs with 29. Uh, he is now playing with the Florida Marlins, so Avi Garcia uh, is gone. Um, last year, uh, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't even talk about it, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, Keston Hira, uh, he, was, he was being celebrated as uh, this big offensive weapon that the team was going to have uh, last year, and that never materialized. As a matter of fact, he was opening day starter at first base, and uh, uh, Craig Council, by the way, the longest tenured coach in the National League, eight, eight years already for 
uh, for Coach uh, Council, uh, manager for, of the Brewers, uh, he and everybody else in the Brewers uh, coaching staff said uh, that Hira, um, yeah, he hasn't played first base, but his bat will more than make up for it, and then we're going to learn on the fly on first base. That experiment failed within a week. Um, the bat never got going, and first base was bad. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about Castaddy, though, in just a second. Uh, so uh, Luis uh, Urias, uh, big surprise for the Brewers last year. Uh, came on uh, later on or you know, early in the season, but uh, was not uh, was not expected to be on the team uh, to begin the year. I actually led the team with 122 hits uh, in in 2021, um, and then you had Wong, Adamas, and Navarez all with 100 plus hits on the year last year. So uh, there were some bats in that lineup, but a lot of those uh, a lot of those bats never came alive, uh, including Kane, Yelich, uh, and others. Uh, it was a really disappointing season offensively for the Brewers last year, and they still had a division championship, much to do with the pitching. Again, that's episode two tomorrow, today, episode one about the bats. Uh, but that's a, that's a small uh, offensive recap from last year and an a offensive uh, challenged team, as it turned out, for the Brewers. As the season went on, offensively got worse and worse and worse. I said under 500 in the final month of the season were the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, before they were dispatched by the Atlanta Braves in the playoffs. Uh, today's um, uh, opening opening day starting lineup. Now, uh, you know, left-handed, right-handed, this will ebb and flow during the season. But today's uh, starting lineup for the Brewers uh, went like this. Colton Wong, uh, Willie Adamas, Christian Yelich batting third. Andrew McCutcheon, talk about uh, Drew here in just a second, batting cleanup. Rowdy Telez, Hunter Renfro, Omar Navarez, Lorenzo Kane, and Jace Peterson rounding up the Milwaukee Brewers lineup. And you say to me, well... Corbin Burns was our opening day starter. He batted ninth, right? No. Uh, designated hitter throughout all of Major League Baseball. So uh, we have the American League and the National League. So we got two different leagues. I have no idea why, because they both now play by the same rules. So somebody out there, please explain to me why we have two different leagues. <laughs> they, all, they both play, play by the same rules, right? National Football League, National Basketball Association, uh, the one thing. But uh, here in Major League Baseball, we've got two different leagues uh, for some reason. Perhaps they'll change that in the future. But for, uh, for this year and going forward, uh, designated hitter now in the National League. Uh, Brewers haven't had a, a, a full year designated hitter since they were in the American League East uh, back in 99, uh, right? They switched 98 to 99. Um, you, can, uh, you can go check on that on your own. I didn't write that note down, but something like that. Um, yeah, so Wong, Adamas, Yelich, McCutcheon, Telez, Renfro, Narvaez, Kane, Peterson. Um, sounds like a pretty good uh, hitting lineup. Uh, for that, we, we go to look at some spring training stats. And again, baseball, full of stats. Uh, and there he is at the top of the list, Keston Hira, <laughs> having a great spring training. We'll see if that translates into the regular season. It didn't translate into a starting day spot uh, in, uh, in the batting order, um, at least not starting on starting day. Uh, but Hira uh, batted 393 in the spring. 12 RBI, 4 home runs. Uh, pretty nice spring training for Castaddy. Uh, Christian Yelich, again, he underperformed uh, last year. Spring training this year, 30 plate appearances, 8 hits. Yeah, so-so, 3 RBI. Um, uh, yeah, he was second uh, in plate appearances for the Brewers during the, uh, the spring training. So 8 of 30. You can uh, draw your own math there on that one. Uh, Colton Wong, leadoff hitter, uh, and he did it during the spring training. Uh, batted 310 from the leadoff spot. Uh, he had three RBI in the in the spring training. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, obviously, uh, he's the big addition for the Brewers in the off season. We'll see if if that lasts throughout the season. Uh, there are some other hitters in this lineup. Uh, we won't go all the way in depth today. As a matter of fact, the names I've already mentioned are the only names I'm going to mention today. Uh, we may come back and uh, mention some of the others on episode three. Again, this is one of three. Um, but Andrew McCutcheon, uh, nine years in Pittsburgh to start his major league career. Uh, split uh, year number 10 between San Francisco and the New York Yankees, and then uh, three, the last three years have been spent in Philadelphia. He's a career 280 hitter, 270 home runs, and of course Brewer fans are familiar with McCutcheon uh, in his, uh, his days, especially with Pittsburgh. Uh, he would come in and uh, oftentimes uh, destroy Brewer's plans on game day as a Pittsburgh, uh, as a Pittsburgh Pirate. <clears throat> so uh, McCutcheon, big addition. Again, he comes in as the DH uh, to start the year. Uh, we'll see uh, if he gets any time in the field. I would suspect that he will. Uh, but that's where he comes in today. He's 35 years old. Uh, so uh, baseball, that's a little on the older side. Um, younger than I am. Uh, but yeah, he comes in at, at the age of 35. 
and uh, you know, a, a, a bat for the Brewers. And again, a team that was offensively challenged a year ago, uh, where, where pitching ended up ruling the day uh, last year. So that's where we stand offensively for the Brewers. Uh, we'll talk about this every every episode, uh, one of three. Uh, Brewers, again, were 95 and 67 last year. It's exactly where I put them this year, 95 and 67. I believe, though, they are much better than anybody else in the division. St. Louis uh, will come in after, uh, then Chicago, Cincinnati, and, and Pittsburgh will, will bring up the rear uh, way back uh, here in this 2022 season. Uh, in Milwaukee, probably uh, wraps up uh, the division uh, in uh, late, uh, mid to late September. Uh, it probably virtually wraps it up just after the All Star break, honestly, uh, and then they they will, they'll run away with it after the All Star break. Is uh, my thought on this year's team? Uh, of course, um, many in the area are thinking World Series for the Milwaukee Brewers. Some are even saying a World Series champions. Uh, long time between then and now, 162 games, a very long time. But certainly, uh, the Brewers got, uh, I believe, a a, a roster that can take them to the World Series. Uh, and they've got a uh, what's really turned out to be a, a really good manager, Craig Council. Uh, again, longest tenured manager now in the National League, uh, eight years under his belt, and still has a one coach of the year. Perhaps that'll come this year, especially uh, with another uh, successful Brewer season here in 2022. So there you go. There is your, your offensive uh, recap and outlook for the 2002 Milwaukee Brewers uh, in episode number two coming out uh, tomorrow on Friday. We'll talk about the Milwaukee Brewers pitching and Cy Young pitching. Some of the best pitchers in all of baseball reside at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Jason Zaleski here. Uh, have fun watching the Brewers this year, and uh, we'll see you on episode two coming up tomorrow. <laughs>